welcome back to another video i hope you're all doing okay today i'm going to be doing probably one of my most requested videos this is a video going through my acrylic application so it just gives a few tips and shows you how i do it and it's mainly for the beginners that might be struggling with it and are just looking for some advice so i'm just going through the whole process and i am going to be doing a separate prep video as well so make sure you are subscribed and you will get all of my notifications when i post so i hope you love the video and let's get into it so i'm going to be using the clear pinched square tips again and just whilst i'm doing this video i will also show you how to size a tip as well so what you want to be doing is you want to make sure that your tip is going from side wall to side wall and fitting perfectly. So what I do is I always start from the first side and then take myself over to the second side and making sure that that lines up. So I can see that that tip fits perfectly as it lines up side wall to side wall with no overhanging and without me forcing it with too much pressure. So that tip fits perfectly, but what I will do is I'll show you an example of a tip that is too small and too big. So this one is a size four, so I'll just show you. If I start off this side, leveling it up, then when you go over to the other side, you can see that this tip is overhanging from the nail bed. So you know that that one is too big. So this one is a size six. So, so you line that up on the side wall and as you come over to the other side, you will see that the tip doesn't extend directly to the side, other side wall. So if you were to use a tip like this, it can pop off and you will struggle to file it because they will be a dip. The nail won't continue as a straight line. There will be a dip from where the natural nail stops and then where the tip starts. So that was just to show you what a tip looks like when it's too big and too small. But like I say, this one is perfect. So I am going to go ahead now and get that glued. I'm using the Glitter Bells tip glue. And what I do is I just apply small amount on the tip of the tip like that so you can see how much I've applied then I will line it up put it in place you will have a few seconds to move it around and get it completely straight and set right Hold that down with a bit of pressure for a few seconds. And there you go. And I always just press in on the wings as well, just to make sure that they are stuck down. And there we have it, your tips off. So I've just given this tip a file and shape. If you are looking for any advice on filing and shaping, I will link my filing and shaping video that I did last week in the corner. So for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying the acrylic. So just before I do that, uh, your acrylic application will be impacted a lot by your brush. So you need to make sure you are investing in a good quality brush that is Kalinsky hair. I have got the Glitter Bells brush in a size 10. I started off with a size 8 and then thought that I would benefit more with a size 10 just because I can pick up bigger beads. So if you are struggling with your acrylic application and finding it hard to apply, maybe try a bigger brush, that might be your problem. So yeah, this is the size 10 from Glitter Bells and I'm just going to go in and grab my first bead. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place that just where the tip meets the natural nail. And what I do is I just pat my acrylic down, guide it to the end of the nail, like so. You don't want it to be too bulky towards the end of the nail. So that's why I always start out just above 
try not to worry too much about three bead or one bead methods just use exactly what you are comfortable with as long as the outcome is the same then it really doesn't matter so what i do is i will place my first bead just where the tip meets the nail and then my second bead just above the last one because this will then start helping me build an apex So I'm then picking up my third bead, applying it again just above the last one that I laid and as I'm starting to get to the cuticle what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the tip of my brush to start of, to sort of push it towards the cuticle and start blending that into the last bead that I placed. And then as you will see, there is a few inches to the cuticle. Building my apex up and it's time for the cuticle bead. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick my bead up. You don't want it to be too wet because you don't want it to flood the cuticle. But what I do is I place it a few inches away from the cuticle and I push backwards with the tip of my brush. You don't want it to be any ledge there, so you want to keep your brush quite tucked into that cuticle. Push in all the way around and blend that downwards. And if you feel like you need to add it in anywhere, you can do. You can always go back in if it needs be. Just making sure you get tucked in do a sweep round the cuticle just so you can pick up any acrylic. So now that that's dry I'm just going to go in and shape it up again. Now I'm going to go in with my e-file with my barrel bit on the end. You just want to keep an eye on the side profile, just making sure that you are flushing the application into the cuticle as much as possible. And just making sure that your apex is structured nicely. You don't have to get it perfect because I am going to go in with my hand file now as well. So what I do is I just like to get underneath to make sure that that is nice and straight. Just making sure that you keep in the shape at all times. And then what I do is I feather down. So this is just feathering down the nail towards the tip just to make sure that the bulkiness is not at the end but you're also keeping the apex as well. And what I always look out for filing is you can see the filing marks on the nail here so if you have got any sort of inconsistencies you'll be able to see it. So if I rub the file over there, over on that side, if there are any dips or any unevenness, you will see it. Can you see those parts there that are not filed? That means that when I'm going over, that this is not even and it's not level. So you need to be filing that to get rid of that, get rid of those dips and just with a bit of pressure you'll see that they have now gone and that will be all even. 
So I just go over, making sure I'm changing direction just to get all angles. This is obviously a curved file, so it helps me get into the cuticle area when I'm filing with my hand file. Just making sure that they are nice and even. And there you go. So once I'm done with my hand file, I will just go in and give them a buff. I just use one of these brushes to get rid of any dust. And then this helps you see better if there are any bits that you've missed. And there is my acrylic application. So you'll see there's a nice apex built there. And then if you are going in with a gel polish or just top coating them, if you're just having them the pink opal colour, you can do as you would please with that now. But yeah, so that is my acrylic application. So there you go guys, I hope you found that helpful. Like I say, I will be getting a prep video to you very soon. So make sure you like and subscribe and follow me on my other socials. It's at the nail room by G on Instagram and TikTok. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.